Hello you guys, today I'm going to be um, doing a review on the new Five Nights at Freddy's Funko figure. Um, this is supposed to be the the Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy. So yeah, um, from the looks of it, it looks very nice. You guys can see he has his trench coat and all that, which looks very good. Um. Details on this guy is pretty good, too. I don't really know why they choose him over all the other people they could have made. They could have made, um... They could have made, I guess... No, um... I'm blanking out right now. But, yeah, they could have made more people instead of him. They could have made, like... Spring Bonnie or Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare would have been good. I think they should have made Nightmare. But, hey, we got Captain Foxy. And I think Captain Foxy is a good inclusion. He's pretty cool. He's different to his alternate versions. Uh, specifically on mine, um, his joints are pretty tight. They're playable tight, which is good. Now, also something I like about Funko, what they've been doing recently, is they've been tidying up the joints, which is very good on these figures, because these figures tend to get loosened up, and I wouldn't really recommend mixing them and, um, just like that, because they're more, um, they're more like pieces that are just kept together, even though they have the ability to take off the parts i don't really like taking off the parts on mine because i don't like having mine so loose so yeah i mean moving them and things like that is not a problem and all that so yeah uh, i think the trench coat is pretty good just i wish it was a little more pliable it seems like it's glued onto his torso or something like that i don't know but pretty good Pretty good figure overall. I wouldn't recommend trying to take off the the little trench coat in my opinion. Because I think you can mess up the sculpt on this guy. Like right now I was trying to I was trying like to move it a little more. And I just heard like a little creaking not creaking sound, but like more of a like uh coming off. But yeah. I don't really know what they stuck it with. I think they, they used some type of glue on it. But yeah, the figure overall looks good. The sculpt on him is good. The head, I tried removing it and trying to replace it with a normal foxy head. It does not work, at least to my attempt. I think you could do the hot water method and that would work. I think that would be better. I think you would be better off doing that. But just to show you, here are some different Foxies. So here's a more newer release. And if you're, and if you got the old release, well, this is how he looks. He's more, he's more accurate. He he's more like representing the old release, as you could see, the more orange color. Um, the the skin tones tends to be a little more different. This one tends to be a little more orange. While this one's more red orange, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I'm looking at from from my perspective. So yeah, I think the figure is very good, very good inclusion to the FNAF Funko Wave. I think it's good and awesome. I think you guys should pick up like this figure. It's pretty good. I'm gonna probably get an another copy. So because I really like it, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, the box, just your normal Funko box, except um, this time it's decorated with Halloween items. And in the back, you can see comes with um, the figures they're promoting, which is Glitch Trap and Dreadbear, Grim Foxy, and let me move Captain Foxy, Jack O'Bonnie. Oh. Uh, Kind of sad they didn't re-release uh, Jacko Chica because I never got the Jacko Chica figure. I really wish they would have done that, but I'm still on the lookout for the Jacko Chica figure. 
But yeah, I think um just Foxy, he's good. His joints are good. Everything's good on him. I think he's good. I think he should you shouldn't have quite a problem picking him up since I've been at my Walmart, my local Walmart, and I see that there's some there's a lot of copies of him left out. So yeah, I think you shouldn't have a problem or ordering him online or something like that. But yeah, I do think he's a pretty good pickup and he's a good inclusion for the wave and he will fix fit good with your foxies. So yeah. Now, the only thing I would say he lacks in is articulation. The trench coat is pretty stiff on him, so I would say that's going to be a little problem. Um, you can't really, if you would want his legs to kick out, you can't really get it because it's a trench coat. It's that plastic, but he's more going to be in a standing pose, which is okay because in the game, because in the Dreadbear um, DLC, he does not move or anything. He's just part of the inclusion, the attraction of Dreadbears um, of the of the starting game. I, can, I don't really know how to start, how to say, because I haven't played the DLC for a while. So, yeah, I think this figure is good, though, and you should pick him up. But, yeah, um, that's my thoughts on the review, and... Yeah, I'll see you on another video. Um, I will be picking more of these guys up and reviewing them. So, yep. Bye.